Okay. Your relationship with God is what? A question. Why? Because that is the question. Why? Why is this world the way it is? Big world. A lot of questions. Yeah. Why does it have to be like that? Because there's an order. Now, who made that order? How did this just become the overlord, setter, person of the world? Overlord, setter. Yes, you know what I mean. Person of the world. Um, would have to be the undeniably systematic way that the government has formed itself over thousands of trials and failures and of which you can argue. Still fail. You can argue with it. They, but it has evolved into what it is today, which it is should still evolve. Right. <laughs> yep. It always will evolve. I just hope so. So the reason this entire thing is about why the world is like the way it is, is because I'm also wondering why I am different. Um, I think you're different because, you know, you're, you know, God made you special is a delicate way of saying that, you know, you're borderline, you know, synaptic, Asperger syndrome? I mean, you know, do you want to put that out there? Sure. <laughs> it's kind of just bearing your soul here, son. Okay. So, yeah. So, why are you different? Why is everybody different? Why is anybody different? Why do we have to be the same? Mm. Why, do, why does the government, this huge idea that these people, they made, I mean, who's this they? And really smart people that have been doing it for a long time. No. Who started it? Who started this whole thing about? Everybody that, you know, can successfully maintain <laughs> their existence while simultaneously Achieving personal independence, of which you, yourself, are trying to figure out who you are, what you're trying to do, and maintain your own self-reliance, dependence, and independence. But, the, but I'm different because I cannot, like, I cannot focus on the things that they tell me to focus on. What do they have anything to do with your relationship with God? Because they're the reason why I wonder why I'm different, which causes me to know that I'm different, which makes me, my relationship, a question. Because I still don't know exactly what I'm meant for if I have to be so different from others. I think that everybody's different. If you understood why you were different, or why you were special, and that you had a special purpose, your relationship with God would be a lot better. Right. So if you know that answer, what is your relationship with God? Probably. It'll probably be thankful. A lot better. Yeah. I'm in my opinion. I mean, I like. Sure, sure. It it gives me like sure. I can't do all these things, or I can do all these things. But the but the things I can do. I find I am highly like the things I'm interested in. I. It's in my head. Fail snap. Um, Off subject. Focus. <laughs> AD <laughs> mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> Keep calm and blame it on the AD. Next subject point. No. Yes. Okay. Why are we all robots? Why do why do they think we're all the same? Why do they command us to be the same? 
when we have a lot more potential than just being born, getting an education, getting a job, retiring and then dying. I mean, and that's all people are doing in this society and they don't even realize it. I mean, some might, but they just still go along with it because that's the set rule of the world. I think on this one you can answer your own question. Hmm? I think on this one you can answer your own question. So basically, we're all robots because we think that this is the way because that's all we've been taught our entire life. Yes. Society programs us. As a robot. Well, no. I mean, you know, 100,000 years ago, we were digging through the woods trying to find berries and roots. And if you would have been 100,000 years ago, you would still have that great mind you have now. But you wouldn't know anything about the possibilities of electronics or anything possible. And you would just be happy eating berries off of trees and digging roots out of the ground and hunting a squirrel now and then. The reason why you're questioning or thinking or, or, or have higher complicated thoughts is simply because you're confused about the fact that you don't know how to fit into society. But that has nothing to do with your relationship with God. Your relationship with God involves you being thankful for the blessings that you have. Thankful that I realize that this world is screwed up. That's terrible. I'm joking. All right. I'm joking. I will scratch that from there. Yeah. Let's go along the lines of, are you thankful that your back doesn't hurt? Yeah. Hey, that's a good one. Do you have food on your plate? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have clothes on your back? More than on my back. Do you have a music studio surrounding you? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. What is your relationship with God? My relationship with God is a bunch of thoughts crossing through my mind now. So that's that's it's like all I could possibly ask. Best answer you could possibly give. Yeah. Eventually one day you might have to make those thoughts meet someplace. But uh, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Um, off to your work.